demon dice is what we're looking at here. Oh, prize fighter demon dice. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, are we, I was about to say, are we going to get an Etz Doli, actually? Because <laughs> I was about to start laughing if we did get an Etz Doli in that case, then. That would be super hilarious and also really wickedly stupid. Okay, uh... I see prize fighter. I just want to take Zen out, and considering how we just had a game with a Zen in this recording session here, I was really good. It's Vitblade Zen, so I know for a fact that that's just that's something to be feared at all times, just about. Uh, so I'm holding Rasmus here against the Juno. I think it's fine. As much as Vice prize fighter could go off. Hello. Well, it is Demon Dice. We have Luna Fini. I think I need to hold Rasmus just for the sake of being able to contest for size and everything, considering how Luna's smaller hitbots and Fini, she doesn't have a real good way to cheat around. So I need to be able to contest and hold Juno to the line. I do give advice to the enemy team, but I'm holding Vicious just to preserve my own health, of course. And I think we might be able to brawl them out, considering how Astra has to put. Oh, Astra and I have to put our faces into the enemy here, but we'll see how things go. Fact is, Vicious on two of us, but it's full prize fighter on our side, so it's going to be a super volatile game. If we get a kill, like any of us get a kill, then the game's immediately out of whack. Nice tries so far. Ooh, I don't know about that cut, but I was about to say, this should simply just cut on down, and then I'll just hold the enemy honest. I'm just using the speed boost to just get right next to Luna, not Luna, um, Juno, considering how low she already is. And then now I'm just trying to stagger watch, just keep the enemy naturally low otherwise. So you see, just, just through the merits of how much damage that we've done so far, we're able to grind a barrier out. That's two now. Now I'm just going to confidently hold this line. Not necessarily anything that we wanted there, but if I can drag Luna, Luna, Juno, 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 Juno to her death, then that is going to be great just for the sake of Prize Fighter. Prize Fighter being activated for the rest of us. Great stuff. That's one stat basically already. Ooh, real good stop gapping there. But I just got to be careful considering Vice has burst. I was looking for a death touch cut, but the respawn there did kind of screw up the game plan. Ooh, burst on the table, and even though it didn't necessarily come to it, that's a that's a real nice play, gotta say. Vice just, just you know, she was tempering it with a jet button and already having burst. But at the very least, that is one prize fighter stat, and you know, as soon as one kill cascades, then the rest start to do so. And considering how there's two people without any energy. Uh, it is already very scary territory for them, overall. I tried pressing Burst to, uh, p potentially stun more, but Juno having her- uh, Juno having her Burst was really dangerous. Even with my hook going up, I actually had to send immediately back down, considering how that just was, uh, Astro territory, and it cannot be allowed to happen. Thunderstruck did stun me out of the way, unfortunately, and we aren't getting anything yet, but it's set one! Fact is, if there's only a single offensive trait, then we just go over the moon. Whereas they have two people that steal off of orbs, and you know, you only get so many orbs, you know. Look at, look at that damage already on Juno. I'm surprised I didn't get dash punched to death there, but that's the smallest beans. Fact is, I'm just going to press her vice a little bit, and even to hook her out of position is what my hope was. Because if I can put her out and just force her out of the goal, the goal bots, then, well, mission accomplished. Nice missile attempt there. Pendulum swing. Two stun for Luna to twirl away. Just look at that, yeah. Vice is just a little bit above a tick of... a, a tick, which means she could take one ability, if not for me having that extra 20 power of prize fighter there, which let me drag her out. Even though I didn't get the kill, that did immediately screw the enemy defensive line. And, well, you saw how things necessarily went there. That was me trying to time Vice on a hit, necessarily, with how she was already telegraphing her intent to move with Thunderstruck. So then, my follow-up play is just to try to Pendulum Swing her immediately, so that we have a way to unlock... Uh, so that we can stun her, and maybe even knock her back and kill her. Would, of course, be the dream scenario. 
I shouldn't deny the orb, plus it allows me to stay healthy enough. Surprised I didn't kill Asher right there. That is so annoying. I thought enough not that, but the little energy areas, the, uh, the little sound wolfers, did kind of put that in a negative state. Pendulum swing? Not necessarily. I get enough energy for burst if I just whiplash any of them. But Luna was able to get it past. Alright, fine enough, fine enough. We're not getting kills, but we are putting so much pressure that we're stopping one person per round just about. And that is still converting to, they can't play the game well enough. We just convert something off of there. I feel like the biggest problem though will just be first touch scenarios considering how, you know, you see Juno's just going to win so many of them naturally just from being Jubo. Jubo in the core. I can't believe that the little not bad just screwed our hit right there. Because if I hit, if I hit Asher right there, that would have been glorious to just keep, keep this pressure going. Take her out of position. That way it's uncomfortable for her to play the core. And I'm just going to sprint at her face. Yeah, she had to evade, so guess what? She couldn't contest my strike there, which is all that we need. Juno's almost staggered out, so if I can actually just hit her. Great. She didn't even get to use her energy. Good back pass opportunity there. I saw the idea of the play. I tried also, once again, dragging Vice out of the way. That way, the um, big finish could potentially get something there. But what? That's just great stuff. Our team was able to link up, and my teammates back passing with each other was really good for stalling and allowing me to just hopefully get a good stun off of it. That's just specials here. Twin drives here. Only technically two offensive traits when it comes to... You're getting Twitch Strike. Interesting. When that's just specials right there. I don't know about that, Luna, considering how it is a prize fighter game, it feels like to me. But you do you. I mean, whatever you want to make work. Three ways Finite denies peak performance from the enemy. And when it comes to as well, that is, of course, a, a really good trade just for them in general. For stature and also speed is how they're going to beat us. I'm worried if Juno gets an extension trade in the future with Twin Drive up there. But we'll just see how things go. But right, once again, interesting pit from Luna's perspective overall. I'm not necessarily going to falter, considering how, you know, she she won the rights for first uh, uh, for uh, first awakening pit after, you know, getting MVP. So that's completely on her. Nope. Just respecting Vice. What? Fact is, I did my job. I was able to just keep the residual pressure on her. She eventually did die. And that's all that we need. Nope, I was about to say, Vicious will just get me my stature bat for what I want. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fact is, like, Luna can keep a tighter passing lane thanks to actually having, um, quick strike. And with how close she was right there, in case she ever loses any more Strike Wars or Vice, it's just going to be a burst opportunity there. Vicious is paying off so well with keeping me alive. And the fact is, I need to preserve my life with, uh, what's his face? With, um, stats on stats, of course, too. So that's another kill. So I've got, I think, all three prize fighter stats, actually. This is wonderfully stupid and fantastic. And, well, you're seeing how, like I just said, a prize fighter game immediately scales out of control. You have to do, like, if you see a prize fighter on the opening, you have to take Vicious and respect it. Even with Juno respecting as much as she still did, she still did die herself, too. And if a kill goes out, then guess what? The game's already just basically moot at that point, then. Also helps with, um, Luna winning literally every war, and then... That was just a cascade overall. Yeah, uh, it, it, it feels over, but once again, with it resetting every round, uh, every set, gotta keep our calm heads about it all. Catalyst is here, perfect form. Even Glass Cannon is here as well. I mean, I'm taking Catalyst without a doubt if it comes to, considering how that's just another ability to my rotation, all things considered here. Mr. Propulsion for Luna, Best in Swan. I'm taking Catalyst. There's Chrono Boost to deny an extension with Twin Drive, but it's not my high priority when I'm taking so much damage anyway. That it's just a free 
free Jedi Joe free charge for the extra energy, and also, of course, free burst for my rotation. Whiplash, burst, pendulum swing, burst. I could just hurt somebody, and then if they're on the edge, I'll just burst on them. Just say no to anything that they want to do. So let's restart things, yeah. Just watch what Vice wants to do there. I can't believe Luna had died, I was about to say, but then she finally got tapped at the end there. I tried doing a twit- I tried doing a reaction test play right there. Oh, if only I tapped Luna. If only I- uh, if only I tapped Juno right there. Because if they weren't ready for how fast Pendul- I'm sorry, my depth touch was going to actually take the core all around, then it is dead in the water. And also, since they couldn't confirm the play, guess what? You just fed me catalyst with that dash, Asher! Thank you for that, sucker, sucker, sucker. So Luna does lose her prize fighter, but- I mean, with two of us still having hours, it's not the worst thing for a- uh, for our- Stagger win condition to be out of the way necessarily now. Alright, I don't enough damage to Vice, and I also denied the orb, which is crucial. Just keeping things out uh, out and about on the corner here. I'm gonna steal the orb again. I can't believe we actually got the goal barrier off of the just face there. Off of the teleport. So I, I'll be honest there, I tried cooking Asher, and I did kind of leave things to the wolves when it came to for Fini to defend, but she still did defend wonderfully. Nope, that's my orb, Asher. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going tit for tat right now. I can't believe I didn't hit her. And four of us are gaining up on this one single orb, dude. That's absolutely hilarious to see. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I get my burst off of this, so the core feeds to me. It's over. Not over yet. I can't believe I missed Vice with that, because that could have been her dying. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. It's all right. Uh, Luna doesn't have her twin drive yet. Uh, doesn't have her boost yet. I know that. So it's going to come down to a burst play. Great patience. Great patience. I'm coming back, though. Need to get in the way of the core here. Uh, I played a little too far up. But Luna won it anyway. Alright, even with every single prize fighter stat and even my stats on stats out and Vice having uh, times three, we were able to hold the line. And by we, I mean that was definitely a Luna game. I was just trying to drive the core further out so we're not just on death's door the entire, the entire set right there. But hey, that is wonderful to see, all things considered. I was looking to nab Asher right there. That way we could stop it from staying in the corner. Good clearance, good clearance. Trying to hold below for us here. Have to win against Asher in the burst war. Great play by me, considering how, yeah, she her nerves got the best of her right there. Carry it down. I missed... Great send, though. Find my through ball. Oh, that's horrible. But Luna got the rebound for me. Nice try. Let's say, is that a burst force? Not yet, not yet. That's huge that a burst was not forced. I won my nerves. Oh, and that's huge. Nice stuff, Finny. All right. Even with them getting kills at the end, they just couldn't find a way in. The fact that there is two speed traits potentially there of stats and peak performance and they were both denied is really what I think came uh, uh, came down to killing it. Considering how we got both ends of a, of a prize fighter game to where we got all the stats on set two and won the game. And then even when we didn't get all the stats in set three, we all died and had zero stats. We just had a lot more ubiquitous pressure, and they just couldn't link up as well enough past the occasional burst play to threaten us or not.